What's up you amazing hackers, I hope you're all doing well today. So we have an amazing giveaway going on. Uh, if you guys want, share this video on Twitter, Instagram, Telegram, I don't care. Uh, put your handle in the description below so I can contact you later on. And uh, subscribe to the channel, that's it. If you, want, if you do those things, you can win a 20 euro voucher to the new swag shop that Integrity just opened. It's really amazing guys. So uh, one thing I also wanted to mention, Red CTF is happening real soon, 5th of September, if you want, link in the description. Let's get right into the video, shall we? Now, the first thing I want to tell you guys is I have an amazing tip for you guys, and that's that you need to do regression testing. Now, for those of you who don't know, regression testing is when you've tested your application before and you retest that application. Why is this so important? I'm going to talk a little bit from a developer standpoint and from a QA uh, engineer standpoint here. Uh, we have something called, uh, how shall I put this? I'm just going to say the name. We have Agile methodology, uh, and that's something that's coming up really big into the development world. What it basically means, and I know I'm going to simplify this way too much, so I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but Agile is pretty much a really short release cycle. So every two weeks you're going to release new functionality. Um, that's the typical Agile cycle, two weeks. Uh, you're going to do a release and it's going to affect what functionality is in production, but it's also going to affect us bug bounty hunters. Now, why is this so important? Because new functionality often means that regression bugs can be introduced. When you're a developer and you make some changes in the software, it might, might break some stuff that you haven't foreseen. And that's what we call a regression bug. So um, if something that was working before is not working anymore, um, it can happen because you refactored something and a refactor is if you work on something and you rework that. So you get a more performing uh, scenario or you get some other functionality through that refactor or you might get some better testability. There are many different reasons why you would want to do a refactor. But what you guys need to know is that it can break stuff. Even stuff you've already tested before. So say you test something, uh, I would highly advise you guys to keep an eye on your targets themselves because often the targets themselves on their websites, they will have a page like what's new or what's new in this version or new functionality, something similar like that. If you look in there and you keep an eye on it, it helps because you can of course test that new functionality, but you can also go through the old functionality again and see if you cannot find any regression bugs. It's really important because not every single change is mentioned, of course. A lot of technical changes don't necessarily have impact towards the client, so those are not mentioned anywhere, but they still happen and they cause breaking changes. Now, why am I making this video, you might ask yourself. It's really simple because I've done exactly the same a couple of times already, and each and every single time I've done this, I found new functionality or a new way to do old functionality or like a regression bug in functionality. So it's really important that you remember to do your regressions and just, that's also why I tell you guys to stick to a target. You can go back to targets. If you've already tested them, go back and check it out again. There are going to be regression bugs. I can pretty much guarantee it because there are so many software releases. It's insane. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate a like and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody, bye.